children. My name is Despinis Anastasia and I am a Sunday school teacher at the Church of the Resurrection of Christ at Cogra. Today at Sunday school we will talk about the talents that God gives to us. Do you have a special talent? Maybe you are strong or are great at playing sports. Maybe you can play an instrument really well or maybe you're a good singer. Perhaps you're very smart and good at solving problems. You might be good at making people laugh and be happy. Maybe you're very caring. All of these are talents that God gives to us. We are supposed to use our talents in good ways. God gives us the talents that suit us best. He can give someone five talents or maybe three talents or maybe one talent. However many he gives us, it is very important to use our talents wisely and not waste them. How can we use our talents? We can use them to help the people around us so that when people see us doing our work, they can glorify God and see just how much God loves everyone. Jesus Christ told us this very important message 2,000 years ago, and we read it in the Bible. Christ would tell stories, which we call parables, to all the disciples and his followers to help them understand God's will. This is one of the parables he told. There was once a man who had three servants. To one servant, he gave them five talents. To another, he gave two talents. And to another servant, he gave one talent. He gave these depending on the strength of each servant. The man who received five talents worked very hard and made another five talents. Likewise, the one that had two talents also worked very hard and gained two more talents. But the servant who received one talent went and dug it in the ground to hide it. After a long time, the master returned to see his servants. The servant with the five talents gladly came to his master, showing him that he had doubled the five talents and now he had ten. The master answered him, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then the servant with the two talents came and brought his talents to his master, as well as the two new talents he earned. Then the master was pleased and congratulated the servant. He said, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Finally, the servant who hid his talent in the ground came to his master and said, Lord, I know you are a strict man, so I was afraid and hid your talent. Here it is. And he showed his one talent to the master. The master, however, was not pleased at all. And he said, you wicked and lazy servant, you didn't know how to use your talent wisely and you should have asked for help. What do you think Jesus is telling us in this story? Should we hide and ignore the gifts and talents that God has given to each one of us? No, Jesus tells us that if we are lazy, lack faith and don't use our talents, we will not know true joy. 
But if we work very hard to use our talents, we will be rewarded with the greatest joy and eternal life. So from this parable, we realize just how much God loves us, that he has given each of us special talents. If someone is especially caring, they may become a doctor and care for the sick or become a priest to care for the church. If someone is very smart, they can help their neighbor by helping solve problems. If someone is a good singer, they may become a chanter and help the Christians in the church glorify God. If someone is strong, they can help people who are weak and need support. If someone is good at art, they can paint icons or beautiful paintings that bring people joy. It is very good for us to be grateful to God and thank him for giving us our talents. We should also pray to God so that he can help us use our talents the way he wants us to. In this way, we will be full of joy when God tells us, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. To help us further understand the parable of the talents, there's an activity attached to this lesson that you're able to complete. That's all for today, children. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Alleluia.